first two guys on. Boy, well, what a tremendous year Lansford's had. I, only one month that he hit under 300. I think that was June. Two months he hit over 400. 336. And well, Timmy, you told us that's the highest since uh, he led the American League in the batting back in the early 80s. Jose Canseco comes to the plate. He singled in the first inning to snap an 0 for 23 streak over the last two World Series. Then he grounded out in the third. And he comes up here with runners at first and second and nobody out. He's ahead by a run and the Giants not even remotely thinking bunt. The infield back at what would be regular depth. And it's popped foul back into the upper deck behind us and the count is 0-1. There's Brantley again throwing in the bullpen up for the second time. Again, the pitcher due to lead off at the bottom of the fifth. If Craig had to go to his bullpen here in the inning, he'd probably make a double switch and send either Maldonado or Nixon into right field and have them bat ninth and the pitcher hit eight. Henderson at second. Lansford is the runner at first. 0 and 1 the count. Breaking pitch. 1 and 1. So far, Tony Larusa having the runners running, Lansford and Conseco in the first inning with McGuire hitting, and that allowed Henderson to bat with two outs, and he drove them both in with a double. But had both runners not been running, McGuire may have grounded into a double play. On the corner, and the count two and two. And they are trying to do, the Giants, to Jose Canseco, exactly what the Dodgers did last year in the World Series. Pound him inside, count on his aggressiveness to expand the strike zone. In other words, don't let him hit a strike. That's how they got him out last time on that questionable ball off his foot. Pickoff play at second and real close. Henderson going back and standing up. That's what made it close. Had he gotten down, it wouldn't have been this close. But he almost leans into the tag. That is a very, very close play. Ooh. And again, Thompson gets there. Ooh, close again. You know, a lot of times you'll do that to maybe cut a step or two off a runner's lead. But the way Henderson runs the bases, you're trying to pick him off. I mean, he's going to score in a single. You get a slow guy out there, you can make him a step or two back towards second to make a big difference for your outfielder. Or throwing somebody out. But with Ricky, uh -huh. drops down and it's drilled a deep left center field, and Jose Canseco on a two-two pitch. Has hit it out. A three run home run, and it's seven to three, Oakland. in the air in foul territory. Kennedy comes all the way back, runs out of room. One thing the A's have done consistently now in postseason in the eight games, they have taken advantage of walks time after time after time. They did it against Toronto, and two walks precede this three-run homer. Downs 
drop down and Conseco went downtown. Flat breaking ball. 